In this video, you will learn how to perform a technical delivery using the ZL50G loader. This operation should be performed by an authorized XCMG Brazil leader. Before operating the ZL50G, please read the safety and operation manual located inside the cabin. Security warnings are placed throughout the machine. For your own safety, please read them carefully. Choose a location free of people moving about and always use protective equipment when performing any operation on the machine. The ZL50G loader is equipped with an integrated front bucket that has a 3 cubic meter capacity. ZL50G has a Cummins model 6CTA 8.3 turbo high performance intercall with 215 horsepower and a 6 cylinder engine. It has three hydraulic lift cylinders, including one with a final course tilt limiter that turns off automatically. It has two semi-axes with Meritor axles and four wheels in the planetary system. It also has air brakes plus a parking brake with a brake drum and canvas. Its two steering cylinders provide an articulated movement between the front and rear frames making the machine extremely agile. ZL50G's fuel tank has a 230 liter capacity and is equipped with a safety cap. The hydraulic system contains 200 liters of oil and the fluid level can be easily checked from the left side of the machine. ZL50G is 3,508 millimeters in height from the floor to the ceiling of the cabin, 8,110 millimeters from the rear to the end of the bucket at rest, 5,230 millimeters in height with the bucket at its maximum elevation. The motor is protected by two side panels that provide easy access for inspection and maintenance. The hood has an electro-hydraulic lifting system activated by two switches found on the lid of the left battery box. Before operating the ZL50G, inspect the level of engine oil, the level of the water cooling system, the level of hydraulic oil, and the level of transmission oil. Checking the engine oil level. To check the oil level, the operator must go to the right side cover of the engine, pull on the handle to lift the cover. After opening the cover, locate the oil level probe and check for the correct level. Checking the level of the water cooling system. Attention, make sure the machine is not heated. Using the support handles and the step located on the ZL50G's right battery box, check the water level of the cooling system through the inspection window located at the top rear of the bonnet. Checking the level of hydraulic oil system. Attention, make sure the bucket is level. ZL50G has a transparent scaled level display located on the left side of the machine. Make sure the correct level is displayed. Checking the level of the transmission fluid. Attention! The transmission fluid level probe is located in the center of the machine's articulation. Make sure the machine is not running. Remove the probe and ensure that the oil level is correct. Introducing the cabin. Adjust the operator's seat and the steering column. For the safety of the driver, please fasten the seat belt while driving the vehicle. ZL50G's front panel features engine lubricating oil gauge, voltmeter, engine cooling system temperature gauge, tachometer, orometer, transmission fluid temperature gauge, torque converter, fuel level indicator as well as the air reservoir pressure gauge. 
ZL50G has two sets of switches. The set below the steering are used for control of high beam, rear lights, panel lights, hall lights and the headlights. The right set include the front and rear windshield wiper nozzle controls, the hall light control, two front and rear windshield wipers, and the rotating light control. The gear selector activates the coupling of four forward speeds and three reverse gears. To the right of the operator's chair is the joystick bucket control, air conditioning control, and parking brake. Make sure it is enabled. Make sure that the gear is in neutral position before starting the engine. To raise the bucket, move the joystick forward. To lower it, move the joystick downward. To retract the bucket, push the joystick to the left, and to tilt, push it to the right. At the end of the delivery operation, lower the bucket and ensure that the parking brake is activated. Following these steps and taking all necessary precautions allows the delivery to be performed efficiently.